I went in for my first audition and um, it was, you know, I was pretty relaxed because I wasn't expecting much out of it. Um, and they called me back later that day and I, I did some more reading and um, eventually Alexander came to my school to, to come meet me and uh, audition with him. And yeah, for the next two months, it was a lot of just uh, touch and go, email, uh, Zoom calls and all that stuff. And um, by the time I had my last audition, I didn't know it was my last audition. I thought it was gonna be, you know, do that two weeks later for the next one. Um, but we sat there and it was me, Paul and Alexander on a Zoom call and um, we just read the whole script through and, uh, you know, Paul would read the parts that, um, you know, in a scene where I was in but he wasn't in, I would read parts for him in other scenes and by the end it was, it was, yeah, it was, you know, I got the role <laughs> that day. So, yeah, it was really surreal and um, exciting and didn't really know what to think or what to expect. but. Um, it was nice. Working with Paul is a, it's a master class, you know. Um, but again, in the same way that, that Alexander has really, you know, given me a lot of freedom in my creative process, uh, you know, the questions I ask him are um, less of, you know, how do you act this and more so, you know, how do you deal with this? So it, it's less, my questions come, I think, after the scene more so than they do before the scene. Um, you know, dealing with those things like, you know, w what do you do when it's, you know, five hours later after you shot a scene and it's like, oh, I could have done it this way, I could have done it that way. And um, th there's no like, you know, particular the set of uh, advice that he, he's, he's giving me, but um, just getting an insight to how he deals with those things. And he's been there at that point. And, um, you know, him just sort of describing, uh, you know, how he's changed and, and developed from those moments and how it's actually a useful tool to kind of look back at things and, um, you know, grow as an actor from, from looking back at things and not being satisfied with what you did in the past. When you hear someone like screaming profanity across the room, you know it's coming from Divine's mouth and you can't help but just, uh, she just brings a really special energy, I think, to, you know, my acting in particular. I think being in a scene with her, it's, she's very, you know, chill. Uh, doesn't care, carry herself very seriously um, and you know it helps me because she has all this crazy freedom that, that, that she likes to portray and you know the way she tries things adding sentences just random sentences saying things in crazy ways just because um, and, and as a young actor who's not done this a lot it definitely gives me a lot of confidence to you know go out there and just throw everything out there that I possibly can and that's definitely something she does every day that I work with her. Being in a film with Alexander and uh, you know working on one of his movies, it's it's incredible working with him personally. You know, having uh, the director who's you know sitting right there at the camera and, and and sitting right next to you and comes up to you after every take and is is in your ear. You can you can feel his presence and it's it's comforting in, in that sense. But I think I don't know. Outside of that, um, he just attracts a lot of professionalism to, to his uh, to his movies and, and his work. I think uh, just him being a part of it, everyone around him uh, sort of is you know extra professional and is uh, extra hard at work and is is really on top of it and, and more so excited about working on it because of the type of person he is.